Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is something extra creative and extra colourful. If you're interested in learning how to achieve this rainbow cut crease, keep watching. Firstly, I'd like to introduce my model Alessia, who is going to be my amazing canvas for today's look. Going straight into the glam, I always like to start off with the brows. As you can see, I'm just using a brow brush to brush up all of her hairs so I can go ahead and outline the bottom of her brows. By the way, I'm using my angled brow brush and brow pomade. Now I'm just outlining the top of the brow before going ahead to lightly fill the rest of the brows in. Once I'm done, I'm using the excess left on the brush to feather small strokes in the front of the brows. Using my flat eye brush and my paint pot in Soft Ochre by MAC, I'm evenly putting this all over her eyelid as our base for our eyeshadow. I also use this product to conceal under the eyebrows for a clean, sharp look. Now using a nude setting powder and a fluffy brush, I'm just setting all that base. For today's eye look, I'm using the Carnival palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'm first going in with the shade Funky which is this bright neon pink. I'm placing this colour very precisely only on the first inner corner part of the eye crease and I'm going back and forth multiple times until I build it up super pigmented and super dark. I just want to note that with this particular eye look, you can't over blend. We are using multiple colours so we have to make sure that the colour we need for each step is only applied in the spot it needs to be in. Now I'm going into the shade Wasted which is this vibrant purple and I'm going to place it to the left side of the pink shadow we just did. So I would say that this is the middle part of the eye crease. And again, very precisely and only applying it in the one spot. And then back and forth you go again to add more pigment and make the colour super dark. When you finish adding another colour, make sure you go to the previous colour and just blend the two together so it looks like a seamless blend. I'm now using shades Sky and Mood. As you can see here, I've placed the blue on the left side of the purple. That's where we are going to build this blue shade up. Again, the same as the last two steps, let's go back and forth and build and blend that shade into this precise spot. have to bring that blue a little down on the lid but only on the outer V section. As mentioned previously, once you finish a colour, just blend it in with the previous one. So here I'm just blending the blue into the purple very lightly. Here I've just taken a very small precise blending brush 
and I'm just blending very lightly the edges of the blue just to make it look very blended and round on the edge. Going on to the last colour, I'm using this light green shade from the Morphe James Charles palette. As you can see, I'm placing this green on the left of the blue. And I'm also placing it down the bottom of the eyelid just to give it a round edge. On to the next part, I'm using my flat concealer brush and my paint pot again from MAC to cut the crease. To cut the crease, you need to place the product onto the crease line and bring it down to the lash line. Don't take it above the crease too much. Make sure you take this product only about 3 quarters way across the eye, leaving the outer V still blue. I've just zoomed in here so you can see what it's meant to look like once you cut the crease. I'm just taking the excess left on the flat concealer brush and I'm slowly blending the ends of where the concealer ended into the blue out of V so it looks like a smooth transition. Now I apologize in advance, my big head got in the way for the next few shots and I really did not realize. All I'm doing in this part is I'm packing a light pink shadow onto the concealed area that we just did. Then I just took a little bit of my Glitter Injections glue from Too Faced and I'm spreading it on top of that pink shadow. Then for the pigment, I'm using the shade Watermelon from Peaches Makeup and I'm just popping that on top of the glue. For the eyeliner, I'm using my Angled Brush and my Maybelline Black Gel Pop. I'm going to do a liner only on the lash line and I'm not going to do a wing for this look because a wing sort of sharpens the end of the look and I want to keep this look round. I'm just going to go ahead and stick on the lashes. We're using Style Skylar from Renee Tuma Cosmetics. So I went and did the other eye off camera and now I'm going to go onto the face. I'm using my Iconic London Illuminator first off all over her face to get a glowy base. I'm now using my Inglot HD foundation and applying it on with a flat foundation brush. Then I'm going to take my Melissa Sassine blender and I'm going to blend it out throughout her whole face. Now I'm going to use my concealer. I'm using the Shape Tape from Tarte and I'm also using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm going to place the concealer in the areas that I want to highlight. For me, this is under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the chin and the forehead. Then I'm just going to take my Melissa Sassine blender again and I'm just going to blend all those highlighted areas out. Now I'm using my Bobbi Brown Contour Stick in shade Almond and I'm going to contour the following areas. The cheekbones, the side of the bridge of the nose, the bottom of the chin and the top of the forehead. Then I'm going to take the Melissa Sassine Blender again and just blend them out. Now using my RCMA translucent powder, I'm going to set all of the areas that are highlighted previously. Setting the makeup will ensure that it lasts longer and it doesn't crease. Leave this translucent powder on for a couple of minutes and while you're waiting for the makeup to set, go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash line with the exact same colours that you had put onto the eye. 
Now with my nude face powder and my face blending brush, I'm just going to brush away all of that translucent powder. Now I'm using the Melissa Sassane White Eyeliner and I'm just applying it inside the waterline just to make her eyes pop a little bit more. Then I'm going in with a white highlighter and I'm applying this in her inner corner to also make it pop. Now to add dimension in her face, I'm using my Hula Bronzer and I'm going to bronze all of the areas that I previously have contoured. Now using my Too Faced blush, I'm just going to apply this on the apple of her cheeks to bring a little bit of colour into her face. So as you just saw, I just lightly sprayed my Kat Von D Lock It In setting spray all over her face before applying the highlighter. This is just so the highlighter can go onto a wet surface and it can be more pigmented. By the way, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter and I'm just applying it on the cheekbones, the nose and the top of the lip. Now the last part of the look, the lips. I'm just using my MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down to outline the lips and then I'm going ahead and I'm using this new Bobbi Brown product that I got. It's just a shiny silvery white lip gloss and I'm applying that in the inner corner of the lip. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and found it helpful. This was the first time I had ever used multiple colours on one eye look. So if you think I did well and you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up, a good comment and subscribe to my channel.